Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power of square root of 10 and 3 squared, and we're going to determine which number is larger. So I'd like to start with the square root of 10, and I want to be able to compare it to a rational number. So for that purpose, let's go ahead and observe the following. I can compare 10 to a fraction, and I want that fraction to be kind of square rootable or perfect square, sort of, so that I can take the square root of both sides. So, and for this purpose, this number will be perfect. 10 is less than 300, 361 over 36. Why? Because 360 divided by 36 is equal to 10, and this number is going to be slightly larger than 10. Great. Now, if you go ahead and square root both sides, this is what makes it real nice you're going to take the square root of 361 and the square root of 36. As you know, or you should know, hopefully, uh, square root of 361 is 19 and the square root of 36 is equal to 6. So you can basically say that square root of 10 is less than 19 over 6 and it's actually yeah, pretty close. Okay, not bad. So my next step is going to be use these as powers uh, with the 2 as a base. So let's go ahead and uh, do 2 to the power of both sides. That's going to give me 2 to the power root 10 is less than 2 to the power 19 over 6. Now, why does this work? Because 2 as a base is greater than 1. When you have a larger power or exponent, you have a larger number. Great. So that's one thing that I'd like to keep for now. I'm going, I'm going to use that later on. So we know that 2 to the power square root of 10 is less than 2 to the power 19 6. Great. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to be comparing 2 to the power of 19, 6 to 3 squared. So how do they compare? And in order to be able to compare them, I would like to do a couple different things. And you might be saying, like, why are we doing all these things, right? Well, there is a purpose for all these things. Uh, we want to be able to compare a power of 2 to a power of 3, but the power of 2 is a fraction. So I'm going to have to expand this a little bit. First of all, Let's observe that we can write 2 to the power 7 as we can write the 2 to the power 7 as 128. Great. Now I'm going to take a fraction that contains 3 and 2 and I'm going to raise it to a power. So let's start with the following. 3 halves raised to the power 12 is going to give me 3 halves to the fourth power and then we can raise it to the third power. You're going to see what I'm talking about in a little bit. When you do the following, you're going to get 81 over 16 to the power 3. And as you know, 81 uh, divided by 16 is basically 5 and 1 16th. So now I can write this as 5 plus 1 over 16 to the power 3. Great. So I'm, I'm able to compare this ratio, the fraction 3 halves to the power 12, with... 5 plus something. Now, what is 5 to the third power? It is 125. And then I'm going to take that and compare it to 2 to the power 7, which is 128. And then we're going to be able to establish uh, the relationship. So, in other words, if you kind of think about it, we get 3 to the 12 with 2 to the 12 on one side, and we have 2 to the 7th on the other side. If you just think about comparison and cross multiplication, you're going to notice that we're going to get. 2 to the power 19 on one side, and then 3 to the power 12 on the other side, which is kind of cool. Okay, great. So let's see how we're going to proceed. Well, first of all, notice that uh, this expression, 5 plus 1 over 16 to the third power, uh, can be written as a binomial, right? And we can just do the following. 5 plus 1 over 16 to the third power. And if you use the binomial theorem to expand it, you're going to get 5 to the third power, which is 125. And now you're going to get 3 times 5 squared times 1 over 16, uh, plus some other terms. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first two terms, because that's going to give us what we need. Uh, this is going to give me 125 plus 3 times 25 over 16, plus so on and so forth. Now, notice that 25 over 16 is greater than 1. When you multiply it by 3, you're going to get something greater than 3. When you add it to 125, you're going to get something greater than 125 plus 3, which is 128. So we can safely say that this expression is going to be greater than 
128. Obviously, we don't even need the last two terms because it's already greater than 128, which is this one, okay? So 5 plus 1 over 16 to the third power is greater than 128. So how am I going to use that, right? Well, I already said that 2 to the power 7 is 128. Let's go ahead and take that and put this all together, and now we're going to be able to compare our numbers in a better way. So I'm going to start off with 2 to the power 7. So 2 to the power 7 is equal to 128, and we know that 128 is less than this expression, which is 5 plus 1 over 16 to the third power from binomial theorem, we know that. And this expression is actually equal to, if you think about our derivation here, it, this is equal to 3 halves to the power 12. Great. Now, what is that supposed to mean? It means that we can basically forget about everything in the middle and just say the following. 2 to the power 7 must be less than 3 halves to the power 12. Awesome. And what is that going to give me? Let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power 12, but let's go ahead and expand it first. We get 3 to the 12 over 2 to the 12. Now multiply both sides by 2 to the power 12, and that's going to give you 2 to the power 19 is 3 less than 3 to the power 12. Okay, what, what is that supposed to mean? Now, this is what I got. Okay, how did I compare my numbers? I know that 2 to the power square root of 10 is less than 2 to the power 19, 6, but how am I going to relate it to 3 to the second power? Well, I do need 3 to the second power here, so I would like to divide both of the exponents by 6. So this gives me 2 to the power 19 over 6 is less than 3 to the power 12, 6, which is equal to 2. Okay, great. So now I know that 2 to the power 19, 6 is less than 3 squared, and I also know that 2 to the power root 10 is less than 2 to the power 19 over 6, which happens to be less than 3 squared. So our conclusion is that 2 to the power square root of 10 is less than 3 squared. All right? Now, let me give you a numerical value here so you can kind of see what the numbers look like. 2 to the power square root of 10 is approximately 8.9524. And as you know, 3 to the second power is approximately, no, no, not approximately, of course, exactly equal to 9. And as you can see here, too, numerically, of course, we're not allowed to use a calculator. We had to use some algebra, but that's what they are. All right? So as a conclusion, we can safely say that 2 to the power square root of 10 is less than 3 squared. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.